Hey everybody, the Banga's back. Welcome to part 23 of Let's Play Golden Sun Dark Dawn. Brought to you by GameAnyone.com. Alright, it's time to get back to Passage again for... You know, now that we have this stone, we can do what we need to do to create the Cloud Passage. But not a moment too soon. Actually, now that I have the ability to freeze puddles... I think there's something else I should do. You remember that little door we saw earlier? Which I think it looked like a door. And it had the uh, two... Two soul blocks? I think we need to go back in there again. Because look how much it's changed. So for instance... Because we fixed the Alchemy Forge, those pillars are up. That's connected as it should. But what do you do with this then? Like, if I push this uh, Zol Cube, it's gonna go right over. Hold on, do I want it to go over? for a second. If I just did this, I'll probably do something else later. For instance, maybe this. Oh, okay, I see what I need to do. And you actually, I think you need Fireball to melt it? Like so. Now, we can push it up here. Now it's in the other slot. And now this door should open. We did it. And in here, another summon tablet. This is our third one. I must say, I am pleased. Now we can summon Flora. We need the following Jin on standby. One Venus and two Jupiter. Alright, so this is our first one that requires three Jin on standby. The other two only needed two. So obviously... Any summons that require lots of gin will be more powerful than any with few. I mean, that would make sense, right? right so let's go back to the uh, forge. And it clearly tells you where you need to use Cold Snap to. Just look at the snowflake symbols. It on this side too. Look at that. Remember, it's gonna get like icy cold in here now. Baggy! Our friends have reversed the flow. Then they found the Ice Queen Stone. This gem was created by the ancient Neox. It is the key to gaining the power to put the Alchemy Forge in reverse. There is no there is seemingly nothing these brave warriors can't do. So I suppose they'll be heading off to Craggy Peak immediately then. If this improves the cloud conditions at the platform, then yes! Let's go and find out! Come on! It should be smooth sailing at this point. Now, friends, head for the cloud platform. You know, should be. Otherwise, you'd just fall to your death. Well, that'll be the end of it. Stairs too. It's always next to the damn forge.
Alright, so I definitely know I've never made it this far in my original file. So if we leave, we may not be able to return again. So, ready to go, Matthew? Yeah, I'm definitely ready. The last thing I needed to do to make sure that I got everything I need is that Flora Summon. Look at that! It's working! You've done so much for us. I'm sorry to see you leave. I can only imagine what adventures lie ahead of you, my friends. Our adventures would never get off the ground without you, Baggy. You have been a good friend, and I will miss you deeply. The honor has been all mine, Amity. I don't mean to butt in there, but how do we get this thing going? This cloud was forged from floating Zol, so I'm sure that strong winds will carry you. Then I'll do my best to blow us across the sky. Don't take that out of context, please. Wow, what a strong gust. Did she do that? Her powers will come in useful soon, but this gust is a gift from IJ. What do you mean, Grandfather? There's a parting wind from the coast below, blowing them north, where they need to go. Goodbye, Matthew! Take care! Come back and visit! After your quest is done! I will never forget this lovely place. I promise that I'll return. Tyrell just gets one last shot to call him Gramps. Alright, we're literally on the clouds of passage now. Ooh, I definitely don't want to drop down. Hold on, do I need whirlwind to get through this? Actually, can I do whirlwind with this? No. Do I have to do it on the clouds? Hold on a second. I know what I need to do. Okay, it's, it's like the uh, lily pads. That makes sense. This is a rather large place then. I'm really making this music very suspenseful. You know, as if there's a chance you can fall to your death. Oh, I see what I need to do. I still can't get over how awkward this synergy is. Clearly I'm not supposed to go up the right. Oh. This is the way to go? Oh, wait a minute. Sends us further up. So this is kind of like a dungeon. A puzzle dungeon, rather. It. Music is really neat too. Honestly, there's one thing I can't get enough when it comes to games like this. It's the music. That's probably why I like The Lost Age more than the first Golden Sun. So I think the tracks in The Lost Age were much better and more intense. Especially in the uh, rock dungeons. We hardly use synergy at all. So why don't we just go ahead and use that? We have no battles either. Hold on, 
Is this gonna be like timed? We have to make sure that you don't hit these things. What happens if you do? I'm gonna find out. Okay, so if you fall, you end up over here. I see more of those flowers. I mean, good to know that's just like, you don't just fall and like break your bones like Peggy Hill did. On that one episode of King of the Hill where she she did skydiving for the first time and her uh, parachute didn't work. It's kind of like that. Only completely different. Because we obviously don't have a parachute. So I think I'm supposed to fall on purpose somewhere so I can land on the flowers. Or land somewhere where I can get to the flowers. There might be some items in there. That'd be pretty good. I think if I gotta fall from here. Nope, I mistimed that completely. And I can't go back down. Maybe the items were not worth getting. Oh, oh, this looks really nice. Oh, look at that view. How high up can we go? It's almost like Paper Mario. Let's, let's just look at this. Such a stairway to heaven that maybe Alan Jackson will make a song about it. Well, looks like we're stuck. Phew! You finally made it to the top of Cranky Peak! These ruins are deserted. I hear nothing. Yeah, no one lives here. How can you be so sure? The smell. If people lived here, I'd be able to smell some food, but not a whiff. Yeesh. Let's just get going, Matthew! Ignore Tyrell! Dude, stand up for yourself! Paris was a little bit of a dick there. It's like Tyrell made an observation and she just blows him right off. I don't have to take that shit at all. I think she needs to get a grip! Am I right? Na 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 na. <laughs> I think I need to move this. This is so obvious. Let's do it that way. Hold on, I see something else below me. It's a wise one statue. Well, let me climb to the top of this first. We are gone, but you may harness our power to find the way forward. Uh, sure, why not? I kinda wanna get over there. But it looks like the only way to get in there, in these ruins, is to go through that little doorway I just opened. Hi. Stay healthy, Traveler. It is wise to keep one's binded body strong. Sure. It looks like an ancient mirror, but for some reason, the reflection is of a centaur instead of Matthew. Oh. Maybe I discovered the truth after all. And maybe uh, Jenna is half horse. 
something went horribly wrong. Hold on, I'm, I'm looking at this uh, centerpiece over here, like that center plate. It looks like the zodiac symbols there. Like the bow is Sagittarius, and then I see like um, Scorpio and all that stuff. I'm a Virgo, by the way, according to Cosmopolitan. That affects every relationship you must have. Like, only be friends with people that were born at a specific month. Because that makes all the difference. And those people can go to hell. <laughs> I think it's pretty obvious what I need to do in this room. Rip on. Hmm. That doesn't seem to be much of a mechanism. But okay. I wonder what happens if I land right on that. Maybe I need to grip it from here. Nope, I'm actually too far. Now let's try it. Okay. Like they were not matching. Now that it is. There's a hole. Apparently, I don't have to fill the hole with water. What would be the synergy I require? Oh, okay. I maybe that's just telling me that I could. Do special. Maybe I need to grip while I'm on the platform. No. Huh. There's something I'm missing. Is there a synergy that I forgot to use? What if I use Whirlwind on that again? Can't. Okay. Not a thing. Let me assign this to a shortcut. That part was blatantly obvious. I should only go through the rooms that are lit up? Oh, because those are the only ones that are actually open. Okay, that looks like Aries, Sagittarius, uh, Scorpio, I want to say Libra. That's probably Virgo or Aquarius? That one I don't remember all that well. Cancer. That's Gemini. Taurus. 
Leo, I think. Oh, that's probably Aquarius because of like that. So, yeah. Sagittarius, blah, blah, blah. Okay, it looks like I need to go in there. So, in the next episode, we should uh, do the uh, Zodiac rooms, actually. I think it's a prime opportunity to save. Alright, stay tuned for the next part. Goodbye, everyone. Thanks for watching.